Master Matt. And welcome today for a lesson in Kung Fu Sansu. So today what we're going to do is we're going to look at the very first lesson that we teach in our category called Asu. We follow the Bill Holsey, Frank Woolsey style of Kung Fu Sansu, Asu being a two-step range. So to help me today, I have my good friend Brendan, an instructor here at Sansu Tulsa is going to come in and is going to uh, help me. So basically what the, what's happening here is it's a hypothetical situation of where the person is going to grab me from behind. Now, before we play this out, what's really important in the Sansu lessons is it's a symbiotic relationship. If he punches me in the face, notice how I'm going to move back. Now, right now, he's being real nice and keeping like maybe a six inch distance. So in the beginning, we want to do that. As we get better, he's going to get much closer and I'm going to be able to still try to get out of the way. So the ideal here is as we're doing these lessons and we're striking, whether if he's hitting me in the groin or the head or I'm doing it back to him, we're trying to learn to move out of each other's way. So I'm learning what happens when I do the technique, he's learning how to get out of the way. So what's going to happen here is I just happen to be facing this way, not paying attention. Brendan's going to come in, he's going to grab me. Now he can be grabbed me with two hands, just like he did. And notice how I took a step. Or more than likely, if he's grabbing with one, there's another hand back there ready to punch me or something like that. So what I want to do is as soon as I feel him grab me, boom, I'm going to step forward into my half horse. I'm going to bring my hand up and take a look at what's coming at me. And just like I'm grabbing a sword, I'm going to do a backhand as I shift to this other half horse. As I follow through, I'm going to come back. We like to bring out our claw. I'm going to punch into his heart, palm to his nose, and kick into his groin. Now one of the things I want to point out here is, first of all, what am I doing to make sure that I can strike Brendan? So when he grabs me from behind, you'll notice that first of all, if I come at a flat angle, it's very easy to block. See, go ahead and block me, Brendan. Just boom. You see what's happening right here? I can't stop, he, I can't get through. So what I'm gonna do is when I come through, if I come in at an angle, it allows me to break his body down. Go ahead and try to block it, Brendan. So as I come in, I come in like so. Notice how it breaks his body down. So that's what we're trying to do with a lot of these lessons is we're trying to make sure we establish a mechanical advantage over our opponent. Not only hitting a good target, that can cause a reaction. Coming from this side. So as he grabs me and I strike him here, now what I want to do is I want to aim for the heart. So as I come back and I punch, notice how it's going to move his head right in line with my palm. From there, I'm going to come in and kick to the groin from this side. So that's the basics and how lesson one is typically taught. Now, let's take a look at what have we just learned with some movement. So when we think about lesson one, we stepped all the way back and we're coming with this movement. What if I just happen to be with my shoulder to you and I follow these same movements. So how would I apply those? So what if Brendan throws me a right punch? So here's my block I just did. There's the punch, the palm, and the kick. What if Brendan threw me a left punch? There's the hand because I want to stop that next punch right there. So the lesson was to step back, punch, palm, kick. Step back, block, or strike, punch, palm, and kick. All right, asu number two is, again, a scenario where someone's going to grab me uh, right by my lapel. As Brendan comes in, he's going to grab me with his left hand on the lapel, okay? So what I want to do is, is I want to step in right next to his foot with my foot, again, and I want to crash with a half horse right here with my body is what I want to do. As I do, I want to bring my hand up like I'm getting ready to throw a football and I want to strike right at his elbow and I want to pivot and drive the arm up and away as I pivot to a half horse. Okay, then from here, what I want to do is, is I'm going to hammer into the groin, punch into the solar plex, hammer the temple, 
backhand the nose. Now notice where the groin is, so I want to come around, kick the groin, and backhand the throat. If I'm in deep enough, I can bring him over my leg. At longer ranges, I'll just get an attack on the throat. So also realize this can move from the extreme range of where my fist is to all the way in to where my shoulder is, depending on the depth of where I am in these movements. Okay? So he comes in, he grabs me. Now the cool thing about this body movement is, right now we're using it off of a grab. It's very easy for people, I think, to learn uh, from people grabbing you rather than trying to strike somebody throwing a fist at you right off the bat or to block that. So what I'm looking at here is, with the first movement, I'm stepping in and I'm moving here. So I might be my hands up telling somebody to get out of the way, and here's my first movement. And by coming in, this is just like our normal cover we might teach someone in a boxing class, okay? Say he throws a punch to my gut. Boom, I'm blocking, here comes my strike, and now I'm just moving my body back just like what we did with following the lesson. He throws the other strike to the gut. Right, boom, I'm in here, boom, boom, notice where I'm at, boom. So looking at lesson two, I'm stepping in and I'm hitting and driving the arm up and out of the way. I'm dropping down and hitting to the, to the groin, pivoting back, striking into the solar plex. I'm going to hammer the temple, backhand the nose, kick the groin, and hit the throat. The third lesson today in ASU is again, my opponent's going to come up and they're going to grab my lapel. And again, they're going to grab me with their left hand. Um, so Brennan, if you would please. He's going to come in and he's going to grab. Now, what I want to do on this one, this one's a, a little bit um, uh, more tricky, okay? Basically what I want to do is, is I want to come in and grab and set the hand and strike, bringing him down right here as I step in. From here, what I want to do is I want to make sure that this is pinned to my hip. If I don't have this pinned to my hip, if I don't have this right here, this is not going to work because this is going to be very nasty leverage. What I want to do now is, is I'm going to pivot from this half horse to my other half horse and notice how it makes him move. Now I'm looking for this step. We want to do this slowly because what we're doing right now is we're taking the ulna and the radial and we're twisting them like this with this arm right here. Now I'm going to come out and I'm going to clear. I'm going to hit with either my elbow, my forearm or whatever right at the brachial artery. I'm going to come back, I'm going to punch the heart, I'm going to palm the nose and kick the groin. So he's going to grab me, I'm going to step up and hit, make sure I bring him to my chest, good dynamic tension, pivot, this could literally break the arm, hammer at the brachial artery, punch to the heart, palm to the nose, and kick to the groin. So now you will grab me. Come here, grab me. When a person is going to grab you, you're trying to set this up, it's going to be a little dip more difficult when a person is throwing a punch or whatever at you. So as he comes in and he throws this punch, what I'm going to do is I want to block with my hand out as I come in with my hand here, right here, boom, okay? Strike, right? And then pull it down, right here, okay? Now I'm not going to be able to probably catch this, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and open him up and follow through with the punch palm and the kick. So he throws in this, by the way, is going to be more of a straight punch because a looping punch, this is probably the technique's not going to work so much because what I'm really trying to do is slip my head out of the way. Here's an idea for you. Um, something that I've done working at home is I chain my lessons together. Like there's this attacker, that attacker, there's another attacker. So, for instance, person that comes in, they grab me, oh, here they come, I do lesson one. Boom, one, boom, boom. Here comes a person with lesson two, boom. And I'm working that against them. Oh, here comes this person with lesson three. And as I add lessons, I can continue to go 
in four directions or eight directions or whatever. So it allows me to kind of play with my mind a little bit. And having remembered the experience I had with my partner, I can feel how the body would be to move around. Thank you. I hope you have fun and have fun working these lessons.